do an experiment. Today's experiment will be comparing the five most common lead-free pellets on the market. I have here the most popular, the Gamo Raptors, the most well thought about, the H&N Field Trophy Green and the Barracuda Green, the most inexpensive, the Daisy 177 Wad Cutters, and the RWS Hyper Velocity Pellets. The test is going to include shooting each pellet into a very hard ballistic clay medium. To put into perspective how hard this ballistic clay is, notice how it did not dent at all. The test will be conducted with the Crossman American Classic Multi-Pump Pneumatic Air Pistol. This air pistol is advertised to be able to launch a pellet up to 600 feet per second. I'm assuming that they used alloy pellets to conduct that test contender will be the Gamo Raptors. Gamo advertises these pellets as having 20% more energy and 20% more penetration. Given the pellets lightweight, I can believe that it would have more energy, but I am a bit doubtful about penetration. H&N Barracuda Green. These are thought to be the gold standard in non-lead ammunition, so I expect good performance out of these. Third contender is the Field Target Trophy Green. These are also made by H&N and the fourth contender is the Davy 177 lead-free wad cutters. These are the most inexpensive lead-free pellets on the market. The RWS hypervelocity pellets are an interesting bunch. They have a plastic sabot that surrounds a steel core. clay block as it has just been shot. You can notice here that the shock rings around each pellet hole are different. Notice how the shock ring from the wad cutter pellet was the largest, while the shock ring for the RWS Hyper Velocity and the Steel BB are the smallest. The Gamma Raptor also appears to be smaller than the rest, with the Barracuda Green and Field Trophy holes being roughly equal. What this means is that the wad cutter pellet was able to dump more of its energy early on into the clay block, while the RWS hypervelocity pellet and the steel BB did not dump much of their energy and instead sailed through. They most likely penetrated deeper than the daisy wad cutter pellet. It's very likely that the RWS hypervelocity pellet generated the narrowest wound channel of all. But we won't find out until I cut this block open.